Hey everybody, welcome to this, today's edition of The Courtney Smith Show. Today we're going to talk about the three most important ways to truly make more money trading. Now this is actually a multi-part series. We're going to start with number one today. So here are a list of the three most important things to either turn profitable or boost your current profits. Number one, stop running around like a chicken with your head cut off. Number two, stop being filled with confusion, anxiety, and fear. And number three, stop making stupid mistakes in your techniques. Now, these are so important that I'm going to devote one episode to each of them, but I'm going to start with the first one today. Now, I do a lot of mentoring and have been mentoring traders for about 15 years. And this is one of the biggies that stops traders from making money or making more money. They run around like a chicken with its head cut off. Now, this shows up in two major ways. Number one, they jump from technique to technique. And number two, they aren't consistent and persistent in executing their chosen strategy. So today, let's look at the first one. The classic problem is that people learn a technique, then abandon it if they have three losers in a row. They give up and abandon the technique. Then they do the same thing all over again with another technique, and so on and so on. They don't trust the technique, but more importantly, they don't trust themselves. They need to stop jumping around and truly understand the system before rejecting it. So first, the first thing and the best thing to do is to back test it over, let's say, one year. Did it work? What was the percentage of winners? What was the average winner and loser? This won't take very long, maybe, I don't know, an hour, maybe two, something like that. Oh, and also ask the question, how many times did it have three losers in a row? Maybe this happens all the time. Maybe it's extraordinarily rare, but you need to know that before you abandon a technique just because you had three losers in a row. Now you are evaluating the system rationally not emotionally. Does it look good so far? Then backtest over more years, five years, three years, 10 years, 30 years, whatever, have as much data as you've got and as much time as you've got. Now you can make a great decision about the technique. But going through this backtest process will also give you confidence in the te technique if the backtest is profitable. Which brings up a major factor related to this jumping around problem, laziness. Most people won't take the time to backtest. It's work. I got it, but nothing is for free. A lot of my coaching is all about taking a technique that somebody is using it and making it better. People learn a technique and maybe it even works well, but I will then show them how to make it better or how to add options to it or how to reduce the risk of it, some way of improving it for them. And this is one of the major values of my one-on-one -on -one mentoring that I do. You owe it to yourself to check it out. So check out the, the link below and we'll talk to you in our next episode.